Hello, in today's video tutorial we will see how to crochet this apple granny square. This is a pattern which is part of the Tutti Frutti granny square crochet along, uh, which is running in the, during the month of August on my blog, and I will leave all the links in the description to this video so that you can uh, join and it's completely free. Um, but for now let's see this uh, apple granny square. Um, I will be using some Maran weight acrylic yarn for this video and a 4.5mm uh, hook uh, but you can uh, choose any yarn you like and the appropriate hook. Also uh, for my apple I will be using one color for the first two rounds and then I will switch uh, to a different color to this kind of pink uh, for the skin let's say of the apple but you could also make it in one uh, solid color. Uh, it's really up to you. So, but we will see how to make this one. So the colors are going to be um, this uh, white and then you see it's a bit different. So for the background I used this uh, slightly darker off-white uh, cream color and then I used some pink for the um, skin of the apple and then we will need some uh, green and some brown for the uh, leaf and the stem. Let's get started. Let's start by taking the white yarn and making a magic circle. Once you have your magic circle ready, uh, chain two. These two chains uh, don't count as a stitch. And then what we do here in the first round is simply to double crochet uh, 12 in the magic circle. So we yarn over, we insert the hook inside the ring, yarn over, pick up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two and we repeat for 12 times. Once you have the 12 uh, double crochets in the ring, you can pull the tail to close it and then we're going to join the round with a slip stitch into the first double crochet. So you ignore these two uh, chains, you go into the first uh, double crochet and slip stitch. Now for round number two, we're going to chain one and make one half double crochet in the very first uh, stitch. So the same one where we join uh, round number one, because this chain one doesn't count as a stitch. So we go in there and we make one half double crochet. Then in the next stitch, we will work four uh, double crochets all in the same stitch. So we make one, two, three and four. In the next stitch we make one half double crochet and one single crochet. Then we single crochet one in the next stitch and single crochet increase in the next stitch. So it means that we work two single crochets in the same stitch. And then in the next uh, two stitches we're going to make one half double crochet in each. So we work one half double crochet in the next stitch and another half double crochet in the next stitch. And now we're repeating the same stitches as that we did here but the other way around. So we start with a single crochet increase. So one and two and then we single crochet one in the next stitch then in this one we're going to single crochet one and half double crochet one. Then in the next stitch we work four double crochets. One, two, three and four. And in the last stitch we make one half double crochet. Now chain one and slip stitch um, in the center of round one. So basically we're going to slip stitch here in the center between the um, basically the last double crochet and the initial chain two. And we can uh, cut the yarn and we in our ends. Once the ends are whipped in, we're ready to start uh, round number three. And for that, we are going to change color and uh, you can use your favorite apple color. I will be using my pink. 
So I will join this pink in the same place where we um, closed round number two. So it means in between the last double crochet of round one and the initial chain two. So I just go with my hook in that space in between uh, those stitches. I place the yarn behind my work. Yarn over with the pink yarn or well, whatever color you chose and pull up a loop. Now chain one and your yarn is joined. Now to start the, um, the round we uh, just skip this first um, chain one that we made at the beginning of round two and we go to work our first single crochet in the first half double crochet of round two. So we skip this one and we go into the first half double crochet and we make a single crochet. Then we single crochet in the next stitch and single crochet increase in the next three stitches. So we work three single crochet increases, meaning that for three stitches we make two single crochets in each stitch. Two and three. So this is my third increase. Now we're going to make five single crochets, so one single crochet in each of the next five stitches. So we make one, two, three, four, and five. Now notice that we are here at these two uh, half double crochets that we made at the bottom of the last um, round. And so this is going to be the bottom of our uh, apple and to work in these two stitches we're going to make. So in the first stitch we make one half double crochet, one single crochet, all in the same stitch, huh? and then one slip stitch. Okay, so this is exactly the middle of our uh, apple. And then in the next stitch we repeat uh, the the same stitches but the other way around so we start with a slip stitch into the next half double crochet then we make a single crochet and a half double crochet and at this point uh, it might be useful to mark um, these two uh, slip stitches that we made here so the first uh, slip stitch, you see this one, and the second slip stitch. So you're sure that you're gonna find them, it's gonna be useful for uh, squaring this, uh, this apple. Okay, and now we continue the round uh, by making five um, single crochets. So for five stitches we make one single crochet in each. And five, then we make uh, three uh, single crochet increases. So one and two in the next stitch, one and two for the second increase, and one and two for the third. Now in the last two stitches, we work two single crochets. Then just keep uh, the last chain one that we made here and go to make a slip stitch in the same space where we joined. So you go back into this uh, space between the last double crochet of round one and the initial chain two and you make a slip stitch. And cut the yarn and again within your ends. Now we are ready for squaring the apple. And for squaring, I'm going to take the uh, yarn that is um, slightly, I mean, it's uh, off-white, kind of cream. And I will be joining it, so I'm going to put the apple upside down. And I will be joining the uh, yarn in this uh, second slip stitch that we made here at the bottom of the apple. So I'm going to remove this uh, stitch marker. Insert my hook in the back loop only of this uh, slip stitch. Okay, so I insert it, I split the 
slip stitch and I only grab the back loop. Then again, place the yarn behind your work, uh, yarn over, leave a little bit of tail for weaving in the ends, uh, and chain one. Now, uh, in working in the same back loop of the same uh, slip stitch, make a single crochet. If you want, remove this tail. I mean, it's the same, uh, but it looks cleaner like this. And chain one. Now, skip three stitches of the apple. So we skip this one, this one, and this stitch. And working in the back loop of the next uh, single crochet, we're going to make three double crochets. So work one, two, and three, all in the same stitch. Then we chain two, and we make three more double crochets in the back loop uh, of the next stitch. And three. And this was the first uh, corner of the square. Now chain one, skip two, so one and two, and working in the back loop only of the next stitch, work a single crochet increase. So we make two single crochets in that back loop only. Then chain one, and now we're gonna work the next corner. So we skip two, one and two, and working in the back loop only of this stitch, we will make two single crochets and one half double crochet. Then we chain two, and in the next uh, stitch, working in the back loop only, we make three half double crochets. And corner number two is also done. Now chain one, skip two stitches, so we skip one and two. And working in the last uh, single crochet of round three, we're going to make one half double crochet. Then chain one. Skip these, uh, these loops here where we basically just open and close the round. And working in the first um, single crochet of round three, we're going to make another half double crochet in the back loop only. Okay, then chain uh, one, skip two, one and two, and now we work another corner in this uh, next stitch. So we go into the back loop only, and we half double crochet three. Then chain two, and in the next uh, stitch, in the back loop only, always half double crochet one and single crochet two. Now skip two, one and two, and in the next stitch, uh, oh yeah, chain one. So we skip two, one and two, and in the next stitch, we make one single crochet increase. Then chain one, skip two, one and two, and in the back loop only of the next stitch, we're going to make three double crochets. So here we are doing the last corner. Then chain two, and in the next uh, back loop only, double crochet again three. Then chain one, now skip three stitches, one, two, and three, and you see that we end up in the uh, next uh, slip stitch that we uh, marked with the stitch marker. So we remove that and we work one single crochet in the back loop only of that slip stitch. And we can join the round with a slip stitch into the first uh, single crochet. And round four is, uh, is done.
Now to start the last uh, square of this uh, pattern, uh, we are going to first slip stitch into this chain one space and uh, we chain two. And these uh, two chains uh, count as the post of a double crochet. And then what we do is to make two more uh, double crochets in this uh, same chain one space. Then we chain one. And now we start uh, working a simple um, granny square round. So basically in each chain two uh, space we work a corner by making three double crochets chain two and three more double crochets in the same chain two space then chain one and in the next chain one space um, work three double crochets chain one, work three more double crochets in the next chain one space, then chain one and work another corner in the next chain two space. So double crochet three, chain two and double crochet three more now chain one for this side this is uh, you see that we have one extra chain one space here which is going to be ignored actually so we just work uh, three block uh, two blocks of uh, three double crochets in this chain one space and in this one so after we chain one here after the corner, we go into this uh, first chain one space and we make three double crochets. Then chain one, skip this uh, space here, go into the next space and work three more double crochets. Then chain one, work one corner in the next uh, chain two space. So we make three double crochets. Chain two and three more double crochets. Chain one. Now on this side you see we only have two chain one spaces so in each one of those we work three double crochets. And chain one and we repeat in the next space so three double crochets. And chain one. Then work the last uh, corner here in this next chain to space. Chain two. And double crochet three more in the same corner. Now chain one. And you see we still have one chain one space here so we work three double crochets in there then chain one and now join the round by making a slip stitch into the first double crochet and this is the reason why i was telling you that this is just uh, the post the initial chain two is just considered the post of a double crochet because if we were going to join in these two chains we would have a larger gap here which is not nice so then cut the yarn slide the tail through bring it to the wrong side and 
within your hands. All right, so our square is almost ready. All we need to do is to add the stem, the leaf and embroider the seeds. So for that, we're going to start with making the stem using the brown yarn. Um, let's pay attention first to the spot where we are going to crochet the stem and the leaf. So we will join the yarn in these uh, two loops, okay, the inner loops of these two stitches. Uh, and to do that, so you really grab this loop. Might be a bit tight because we already weave in the ends. Okay, so this is the only the inner loop of that stitch. Then I place my uh, yarn basically around my hook and I pull up a loop. And then I immediately start with a chain four. So I chain four and now working, it's, it's a bit dark so it's difficult to see, but working from the second chain from your hook, slip stitch three. So one, two, and three, and then slip stitch back into the same stitch where you joined. Now cut the yarn, uh, but what I usually do is to leave a long tail so that I can kind of um, use this tail for embroidering the seeds. So I slide this long tail through this stitch, then using the uh, tapestry needle I will bring this to the wrong side, going basically through the, uh, the stitch here at the end. Uh, I will take care of this later, but for now basically I draw the yarn through the stitches so that it's not you know, a loose loop. On the back and then I embroider the seeds here exactly in the center around the center of the uh, of the apple so then we go two stitches to the other side and a second seed all right and now we've in the ends when you're weaving the ends, you can also uh, use, you know, like the tail to uh, kind of uh, fixing it, the stem to the granny square so that it stays nice and attached to the square. All right, so now we take the uh, green yarn and we join it in the inner loop of this initial uh, chain one here. So let's see. Okay, so once we have it there on the uh, on the hook, we do the same. We place the yarn close to the hook, we yarn over and pull up a loop. And again we chain four, so two, three and four. And um, to work the leaf, we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So this is the first chain, second chain. We make a single crochet in there and then we make a half double crochet in the next chain. Then we slip stitch in the next uh, stitch and slip stitch back into the same uh, loop where we join. Now cut the yarn and again within the ends. Again, you can use the uh, the ends to you know attach the leaf a bit to the to the square as you prefer. And your apple granny square is ready. I hope that you enjoyed this video tutorial and if you did don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more crochet tutorials like this. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!